What are you most proud of? You've done so many things in your life. Aside from your charity stuff, actually, because that's the most honourable thing you do, and you do it so brilliantly, I don't think there's anybody in show business raises more money and gives more money away than yourself. Professionally, what are you most proud of? Waking up this morning. Simple, uh, sensible, honest. But I think that waking up this morning was one of the star parts of my life. And this morning, I woke up, let me think, uh, yeah, I was on my own. And... That is tremendous. <laughs> How often do you wake up in the morning and have to check to see whether there is somebody on the other side? Well, <laughs> not very often because <laughs> because what happens, I'm a pushover, and, it, and if if somebody comes and knocks on the door and says, I've lost my keys to go in, I'll say, step this way. And they say, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> it's not my fault. I can't help it. I'm a single fella. No. There's nothing wrong with it. You haven't broken any laws, have you? None whatsoever. <laughs> um, and if I do, well, I'll stand for that as well. You talk about waking up in the morning. What about not waking up in the morning and being back with your mum? Do you think about that? Uh, no, she have gone to heaven. I, I, don't, I mean, I've lost my life a few times, one way and another, believe me. Uh, but I'm not quite sure... Uh, t t the, the religious department at BBC once asked me if I'd write a book so I said yes alright then so I wrote a book and the fence is there but, 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 but we called the book God will fix it right and it sold for over nearly 40 years for, through Mowbray's the religious publishers and it's an odd book but very palatable which is why it sold for all those years and the last page is that question that you've just asked me about not waking up. And if I arrive at the gates of heaven and St. Peter says, you've been a very tricky man, you can't come in here, I'll break his thumbs. Because I'm qualified to do that, because I earned a living being a wrestler. And I've never had a problem yet with anybody whose thumbs I've broke. <laughs> You talk about that, though, as if there's reasons for you going downstairs. Do you have a conscience about that? Is there stuff you've done that think you think will deny you access to the big man? No. I never brought any harm to anybody. I've never bad-mouthed anybody. It sounds a bit yucky, uh, but it's my nature. It's my lifestyle. And I never thought there was a profit in, in being bad. Uh, there might be a profit for... A few days, a few weeks, even a few years. But sooner or later you get your comeuppance. And so the best thing to do, I mean, I know a million bad people. I know them, but I've no desire to be one only because it's not my nature. If it's not your nature, then you're not, you know, holier than thou or gooder than thou. It's just not your nature, full stop.